Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Thursday, November 16th, 2017. Today in our Tech News Update, we have Twitter verification rules that now, of course, had halted any verification of accounts. <coughs> Has actually had new rules now um, in effect and some, of course, most of the accounts that are verified and stripped away verification are okay for example for white supremacist content and stuff like that but some users are actually complaining that they had the verified status removed on their accounts while their accounts have nothing really special so it seems that uh, a little bit like youtube's monetization these automatic process need to be actually improved xbox one x seems to be heading for a good start in sales it seems that it is one of the fastest, if not the fastest, Xbox selling console ever. But what about the Japanese market? Well, it's not really doing anything much over there. They only sold 1,344 units in Japan. That is pretty much dominated with Nintendo and PlayStation. Microsoft's Satya Nadella comment of get a real computer is actually creating a wave around the world and a lot of people and uh, a lot of analysts are saying that uh, maybe you should not have done such a comment to journalists with the iPad and that it is not the image of Microsoft that he actually tries to push. So This is interesting that a simple comment that is meant as a joke is uh, actually creating such a stir at Microsoft. Well this is the guy that is trying to kill net neutrality of course and um, now we know that the net neutrality um, decision will be done on December 14th when they actually meet up. There will be a vote. And of course, when we look at the uh, details of the comments of people, which is what, what was interesting is that most people, well, a lot of the comments were spam, first of all. There's a lot of bad things that went wrong with the comment section there. but. We've learned today that a secret funded survey, the ISPs, Internet Service Providers, secretly funded a survey to know what people want. And of course, they did not release this survey, but somebody did leak it, and it says that 98.6% of people are in favor of net neutrality. So if this decision goes against this, it seems that there's really something broken because it means nobody is listening to what the people want. Well, Kaspersky has admitted that, yes, they did get the NSA data, but they just want to stress out that they did not help in any way and that they are not working with the Russian government to try to spy on other countries. So that's pretty much what we have in the latest news about what's happening with Kaspersky. Well, if you're in Canada, now you can get an Amazon Echo. You can get the Alexa working and of course Prime Music is also launching all of that today in Canada. Finally, any Canadians that want to have an Amazon Echo can enjoy it. Survey says that a, the reason why employees are able to infect computers at work with ransomware seems to be with the inability to make a difference between the real emails from real customers to fake emails with fake invoices and attachments in emails and that basically there should be some um, lessons basically given to the employees there should be um, a little bit of you know uh, information given to them to basically learn how to recognize fake and true invoices and uh, attachments in emails and that's the number one problem there so this was the Tech News Update for Thursday, November 16th, 2017. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you so much for following us on this channel.